Hello everyone, this is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft and I'm here with part two of the um, scrapbook that I've, I've started for Shauna, Shauna uh, F. Um, I don't know, she doesn't do videos or anything, but she asked me if I'd had a tutorial on a recipe book. So this is going to continue with it. I don't know if this is what all she wants. I think she just wanted the closure. But you all got to show you what I did. I've already got the back on and I was making a video of it, of putting the back on. And I had it lying like this. And I dropped this back onto that end right there. Can you see these places here where it took the paper off? And I thought, oh, well, what can you do? There it is. It's done. So, it's done. That's, that's there for life. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the uh, spines uh, when I'm finished with the book. So, I'm going to start on the inside. And, okay, now let's do the um, hinges. Should have already had this on here. Okay, let's get the hinges on. I'm going to do something a little differently here. I'm going to try to line it up better or easier way, not better, but easier way. When you take all this tape off, it's so hard to line up your book, to line up your pages or signatures, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. And for a three inch spine, for three signatures with three quarter inch gussets, your paper needs to be eight and a half by nine. And you score, the first score is at one and a half, and then the next score is at three quarters then one half, one half, and three quarters. And you're gonna do that across your page until you get three signatures for your three inch spine, okay? Right there. Okay, I've got that lined up. And then I'm going to line it up up here. Mm -hmm. The way I've got it figured, these this first one and one half inch gusset goes in the center of the the spine here. And that's the way it works. Okay? So now I'm going to take off all my tape. This is hard and this is easy too. I don't know how to tell you it's to do it because it's just... Um, You want to be careful and not bend your spine and break it down. So, okay. 
now to get those lined up in those facet of that spine. There we go. Are you down there, Charles? I've got the echo dot on. It comes in I'll to turn it off so I can hear my puppy. Burnish these down real good so that tape grabs a hold on your spine. And see how that that first score laid right in the spine hinge, the hinge of the spine. Yeah, these are hinges, and that's a hinge, I guess. That's what I'm gonna call it because that's what I think it is. Okay. Yeah, perfect that is. And that one. Perfect. Down in there. Don't rub too much or you will tear it. And there we go. There's your hinges in here. Um, most of you have seen me make these hinges. Um, I will try to find a video of it if you haven't seen me make the hinges and you want to. Uh, but there are bukus of videos out there on these hinges. But I will try to find mine and uh, link it in the description box below. And I will be back with part three. I want to um, thank you all for watching. And But before I get off of here, let me say, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed visiting with my channel and that you will return. Maybe you will hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and the like button. It would be so much appreciated. And um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. And I want to thank you all for spending your time with me. Thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me and God bless you.